Psalm 87. It's a short one, but it's really, really good. Here's what it says. On the holy mount stands the city he founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things of you are spoken, O city of God. He says, think about it. What he's pointing out is that the city of God is totally set apart. It's different. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Verse 4. Among those who know me, I mention Rahab and Babylon. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Cush. This one was born there, they say. And of Zion, it shall be said, this one and that one were born in her. For the Most High Himself will establish her. The Lord records as He registers the people. This one was born there. It's just talking about the incredible inhabitants that have come out of Jerusalem, out of Zion, how God's hand has been there. And then it finishes with this thought from verse 7. Singers and dancers alike say, All my springs are in you. <laughs> it's interesting. There's a there's an old song that Chris Tomlin used to sing. It's like, all my fountains. But as it's talking about this, it's saying, everything that sustains me, that fulfills me, is in God and what He has provided. Right here, it's talking about the city, but it's more than the geographical place. It's talking about this area where God has anointed, where His presence is. And then it talks about the people that come out of that city as a result of His presence. And it just celebrates that. God's city is set apart. And then His people are set apart because they're from His city. Here's how this applies to me today. God's church is set apart. A church that loves God and is focused on what He has to say, is repentant and responding to His magnificent will. They are people that soon fall in love with His presence because of who He is. A, a, a church becomes a place where God is celebrated. And then what happens is the people that come from that church are also magnificent, not because they are better than anyone else, but because they have been in the presence of God. They've been inundated with His character and His beauty. And they go from that building and live as the church does in a community. So this is talking about the city of God is set apart. And the city of God is special because of its people. And I want you to see that the church of God is set apart. And the church of God is special because of its people. Because of what God has done through them. Get tied in. Plug in. Have a great day.